everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, just going to go over the slide just a little bit, uh, and then we'll just have a bit of a talk about a few things. Uh, so you've got the Luminous SPT 90.2 LED in 5700K. I measured 5500, so that's even better. Uh, you got a nice, deep, smooth reflector as well. And uh, this is just a grey coloured um, bezel here. It's not actually stainless steel. So it's a little bit disappointing. I'd far rather that. A uh, bit of a, a tack head on here. Uh, you've got uh, nice sort of deep fins around the head, but I'm not sure how beneficial they are. Really, because a lot of the, all the heat is accumulates down here. This is the where the LED sits. Uh, and then you've got the driver um, around here as well. So you've got all the heat down here and you've only got a sort of a sort of shallow fins here and, and not that much mass. Uh, so it does get pretty hot there uh, and uh, the the sustainable lumens are pretty low and that's probably a big reason for that but we'll get on to that a bit later. Um, you've got the USB-C charging uh, with C to C support uh, and that charges at 3 amps and also a power bank function as well. Uh, RGB switch, uh, you've got uh, not like a not, I love the rubber boot uh, switches, uh, the, not the hard plastic. Uh, hard plastic uh, switches from Workos uh, can be uh, like a lot of play in them and a lot of sort of mush, uh, and I, I really hate it. A um, bit of a silver ring around here uh, to match the bezel. So that the color on here, I've got it set to blue. Uh, but you can, you can change it to a lot of different colors and uh, the modes on here. So you've got like high, blinking, low and high. This is on the high level. Uh, so that's nice to have. I usually just turn that off though. Because uh, I'm, I'm always thinking about it uh, draining the battery even though it's, you know, it's not absolutely nothing to worry about. It's so small. Uh, I just, I'm just in the habit of turning it off. Uh, it's nice to, sh to show people though. Uh, and you know to play around with so on the uh, for the anodizing here it's uh, sort of uh, semi sort of smooth anodizing on here it's not slippery so that's good uh, heaps of knurling on this so a real rugged feel to it and look uh, and it provides heaps of grip you're not going to have an issue with this one at all uh, lanyard attachment and it will tail stand without any issues that is awesome uh, the a few uh, sort of negatives on this is that the the uh, edges of these fins are, are not so much these but these here the edges are quite sharp and also the knurling edges are very very sort of rough and sharp and that sort of on the knurling that adds um, to the grip uh, but uh, it just sort of gives off a, a bit of a cheap feeling to it uh, and uh, at this price point I would like that at least just to be smoothed off it doesn't take much to do that but you see it even on their cheaper light they're like oh, you see it on all their lights I mean uh, and it's just something that they could uh, improve on and they've been told multiple times and they just sort of ignored it so it is disappointing because uh, they could work ice could be they could be such a, a bigger better brand if they really put the effort in uh, to their to their lights just um, better drivers uh, is a big one a really big one uh, instead of going cheap all the time uh, but we'll get onto that in, in a little bit more on that uh, the beam profile on it so you've got the hotspot uh, the brightest point in the center and then around that is the corona and then outside of that is what's considered the spill. Uh, so around the corona is uh, like a flower sort of petal shape within like 10 or so meters, quite noticeable inside. Um, it's not that great. Um, outside, uh, at the sort of when you're punching down range, uh, no issue at all with the beam, it looks good.
the one thing that's uh, quite a negative is there's like five to six rings are uh, sort of artifacts um, quite noticeable, noticeable bright rings around the spill uh, uh, so I think um, everyone was saying that the version 1 the non-pro model that's been discontinued had that issue and everyone was hoping that they were going to fix that but they're, they're still present pretty bad uh, but I only noticed that on turbo and high so level 7 and 8 um, so yeah that's the beam profile uh, this came with uh, the Android user interface on here um, and that comes shipped uh, with the advanced UI so you've got a simple UI which has five levels and you've got all the settings and stuff disabled in there and then you can switch over to advanced UI and that has just loads and loads of different settings more for enthusiasts or people that like to play around and configure their light to work exactly what, how they want it to uh, but it comes uh, from Workos uh, with eight brightness levels on the advanced UI, and this is um, this is a thrower light, and eight levels is just completely unnecessary. Five levels on a simple UI would have been uh, great. So the when I was talking about the driver before, I wish they didn't go cheap on the driver. Well, this has got um, what's called a FET plus one, so it's unregulated. Uh, uh, it only offers um, regulation to 350 milliamps uh, and that's pretty low, that's about 300 lumens um, and so everything above that is unregulated so the outputs will sort of uh, drop off and reduce as the battery voltage drains uh, so this um, is only able to sustain about 450 lumens and that's really low uh, so if you're wanting this for like hunting or you're wanting to search out at a greater range over a good duration of time you're not going to be able to do that with this. Uh, this is good um, for sort of walking around uh, sufficient lighting sort of out to 100 meters and sort of a shorter burst on turbo and high uh, you know it's good for that um, but you might want to give this a miss if you're wanting uh, you know searching out at range for a good time yeah but uh so the the Android firmware on this uh will allow you to increase the temperature limit so by default it's at 45 degrees celsius and i recommend for this model to keep it at 45 degrees celsius you could increase it to 50 without um burning your hand it will be okay but above that uh, just to be caught just to have a bit of uh, caution around that because you would burn yourself if you don't know what you're doing you watch the video online and uh, someone said uh, showed how to increase the limit because that's what they do uh, just just know that it's it gets pretty hot uh, just so uh, just be careful what you do uh, so you could increase that limit and you can you're going to get a much longer turbo run and higher sustainable output so you could use it use with gloves just uh, know what you're doing there uh, before you go messing around with that um, so you know that's okay I, I would really like workers to pay more money um, and uh, like charge us more money and use more quality um, drivers there that are able to hold like 800 lumens um, or you know also better than 450 or 400 it's just bad uh, and so the ambient temp on my graphs was 20 was 21 degrees Celsius so if you um, are somewhere where it's quite warm you're going to get much lower sustainable output there uh, so so yeah, it is what it is really. You can decide whether it's worth the money for you. I don't really have um, an opinion there. Um, but uh, yeah, the, 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 this is advertised at um, 6,000 lumens and I'm measured you know, at 1.4,580 4,580 lumens. So it's quite a way less than the claim. And you see that on a lot of the work as models some of them some of them perform to spec some of them above and some of them much lower like this 
uh, but it meets the advertised range spec and that's probably more important for this this case uh, still very impressive though for that third bow very very impressed uh, the I uh, had uh, a few people questioning my lumen results, saying your equipment's probably not measuring the lumens correctly. Um, and so let's let's put aside my lumen claim. Uh, I uh, let it run for 30 minutes and my meter was showing 421 lumens and I thought that, that can't be right. For the size of the slide, 421 lumens. So I pulled it off and uh, shone it around my room and I had a look and it, there's no way that it was higher than, than what it was saying, you know, 400 lumens. There's no way that it was brighter than that. Um, so I'd say it's pretty accurate uh, with what, I, what, I, what my uh, device is reading. Um, but, uh, you know, there's always going to be people out there that uh, believe what they want. Uh, so that's, you know, that's that. Um, the anodizing on this is pretty thin, it scratches easily. I had it uh, in uh, a bag uh, with the Convoy L21B uh, and I, I like to, I walked like three to four meters with it in a bag and I pulled this out and the anodizing was taken off um, the fin right there. I try and get it on a, a photo. It's not major, it's just a little bit, but it just shows you that the finish is quite um, thin on this. and. Um, because it was uh, for like the location, the first location, which is 156 meters up the driveway to the shed. And then if you spin around to the left, that's the third location, which is uh, five, uh, 150 meters out to the tree. And it's like three, four meters um, just turning and walking down the driveway, just a, just a fraction. Pulled it out and it scratched. The convoy light, perfect. No, no marks, no scruffing, no nothing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I just uh, thought I'd mention that. Uh, not, not a massive deal. Um, it's going to get scratched anyway. Uh, but, but yeah, I think that's uh, that about covers it. It's uh, like I've said, it's an impressive light for that turbo. High, the high level level seven lasts a good um, time as well from cold if it's already warm you're going to get much much shorter and so it's okay i find for walking around um with the you know occasional sort of short burst of the higher mode two modes uh, but if you're wanting something that's going to provide good um good range good lighting over the full run then you're going to want to look elsewhere um, but I hope this was useful to you guys, and if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe, it really helps me out. Um, so that other brands will see that subscriber count, and they will, um, it'll be high enough for them to send me stuff. Uh, just a lot of brands are, are looking at that and skipping me over, and that's okay, but uh, I'd like to grow that number. And I would like to start doing giveaways as well in the future if I can get a few brands on board for that. So that would be awesome as. Uh, I have a lot of lights and I would love to ship them out of New Zealand and run my own giveaways, but the, the shipping costs way too much. Like, uh, could be like uh, 20, 30 New Zealand dollars to, to ship something out from New Zealand. And if it's got a battery included, that goes right up to like an express courier and that that's like 80 New Zealand dollars just just because one battery is included. Uh, so it's way better if I can get brands that will uh, sort of um, want to sponsor the giveaway and then they can ship directly from China. That will work the best. But I uh, hope you guys have an, an awesome day or night or whatever it is. And uh, you know, one thing I've always wanted to do on my videos is... Uh, if you're having a rough time out there and you're not doing very well, you don't have a friend or someone that you can uh, talk to, uh, you can go onto my profile, uh, onto the About page, you know, I think that's what it is. You can grab my email, flick me an email, or uh, you know, add me on Facebook. Uh, have a chat, sometimes uh, uh, someone to listen, uh, or a, a smile or whatever it goes uh, a long way sometimes and really picks you up when you need it uh, so if that's for you don't be afraid to reach out and uh, uh, you know take care guys